Wales, Great Britain, Peter Mulkerins, Nick Burfitt, Terence Dillon, Simon Beresford in four. The Soviet. So a reminder of the order, France nearest, then Poland, then Romania, Great Britain in four, Soviet Union in five, Germany in six. We're looking there at Simon Beresford, formerly uh, Stephen Redgrave's partner, but sadly excluded by injury last year. He was involved in an accident which was not of his making at all. And he's now trying, as indeed are the other three, they all have points to prove. He's very keen to get a good rowing record, a rowing medal this, this championships. This four have had a tremendous battle throughout the season with the German crew on the far side, with barely more than half a second separating them. Most recently, the British crew won in Lucerne, but here it could be anyone's race. British four coxed by Adrian Ellison, who coxed the gold medalists at uh, the Los Angeles Olympics. Near side France in the blue vests have taken the early lead, not much between the others. Last year at Lake Barrington, East Germany won gold, West Germany silver. But this is a completely new crew here. And we're not quite seeing the strength that we might have expected from the amalgamation of the two Germanys, Chris. I, I think really there's been very little combination between crews. There are a couple of crews here, the, the women's four is one and the quad another, where they have combined them. But in fact, there seem to have been crews produced by individual clubs. What has been most noticeable is how the coaches from East Germany have spread around Europe and the world, and there the effect is becoming more marked. That's the Soviet four. In Great Britain, we have Jürgen Grebler, who's become the coach at Leander Club, the top men's rowing uh, club in the country. And this British Cox four is one of his crews. And he's brought in new methods. The team in this year has been to train at high altitude, an advantage which we've long sought. At the moment, though, it's the French, again coached by a former East German, out in front, and there's a great pack behind. There's the British four, looking comfortable, but they are at the back of the field. And these fast tailwind conditions we've got today, that's not really a good thing, because to run over the rest of the field in the last quarter, despite what uh, Redgrave and was able to do only a few minutes ago, is not actually very easy. France, then, from Romania. And for the first time in World Championship regattas, we have a camera on board and giving us very good pictures of the British four. France in one from Romania in three and Germany on the far side in six. Those are the leaders. Both semi-finals were very close with four crews in contention for three places in each and there were fast times too. And the British force seems to have dropped back a bit. The Germans on the far side are beginning to push through. They seem to have rode a fairly relaxed semi-final. They weren't too concerned as long as they got through. And the British have got to stay in touch with them. That's the Polish four. New combination. The French seem to be falling back a bit now. They made the early pace. But it's the Romanians coming through. And on the far side, the Germans. And the British have got to stay with them because the race is beginning to quicken now. These are the Romanians. Dobre in the bar and they argue at three were silver medalists behind Holmes and Redgrave at the Seoul Olympics in the pairs. And now coming towards the finish, those are the Germans with not much more than 100, 150 metres to go. Germany, Romania, and Britain in lane four. Look as though they may be doomed to disappointment again. Germany have got the gold, silver for Romania, and Britain just pipped by the Poles in lane two. So once again, disappointment for Great Britain, and after their performances earlier in the season, that's a major disappointment. Yes, indeed. I, I think they felt they had a good chance of the gold medal here, and they'd have been extremely disappointed not to have the medal. In fact, they got too far behind from the beginning and just weren't be able, to be able to get back on terms. Another five strokes, it might have all been different. And there's confirmation. 
very close, very fast. Indeed, with these tailwinds, we're seeing new world best times. Great Britain, not quite fast enough. <laughs> 